Good evening, Wrightsville. Donna Pinkney here with your Thursday evening devotion. For the Thursday evenings in September, we've been talking about groups. We've been talking about joining a small group, the importance of small groups, and we've introduced you to some small group leaders. And so now for our final Thursday in September, and I don't know how we got to the final Thursday in September, but here we are. For the final Thursday in September, I bring to you a small group leader that I believe is going to be familiar to you. Um, this gentleman has led many different kinds of small groups, but this fall he'll be leading Disciple One, and he's excited to tell you about that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you my friend, Pastor Doug. Hey everybody, good evening. What I'm holding in my hands tonight is none other than a Holy Bible. In fact, it's one of the pew Bibles that sits right here in our sanctuary. This particular copy was published in 1989, but the original words were written by multiple authors over the course of hundreds of years. And many of the stories were told in homes and around campfires for hundreds of years before they were ever written down. These words included in this book are invaluable, though, to us today because they tell us about God and God's interaction with people. So who is this creator, redeemer, sustainer God? And what does God want from us? Well, we're able to learn those things by studying the words of the Bible. We know that God sent his only son, Jesus, to earth to show us how to live, and in his death and resurrection gave us eternal life. Well, what impact should that make on our lives today? Well, the Bible tells us. Can the Bible comfort us? Oh, yeah. Can it challenge us? Mm, yeah. Certainly. Can it help us grow as disciples of Jesus Christ? Absolutely. Is it hard to read and understand? Yeah, sometimes. Does it take a long time to read? Oh, definitely. That's why it's helpful to read it with others. We can help each other through the hard parts. And the Holy Spirit will be there to guide us to understand it better when it gets tough. But it isn't always difficult. Most of the time, it's pretty straightforward. And it's also interesting, inspiring and even exciting. I think a large number of Christians want to read the Bible, but they're intimidated either by its length or by its depth. I'd like to help you walk through it. And quite frankly, I want you to help me too, because every time I read it, I learn a little bit more, especially when I read it in the company of others. That's why I'm gonna lead a class over the next nine months called Disciple Bible Study. Disciple Bible Study gives us a great outline to follow with videos that help explain the big themes and questions each week that help put into practice what we've just learned. As the authors of Disciple Bible Study put it so well, it's not just about information, but it's about transformation. In my 25 years of pastoring churches, I've never found another resource that helped people understand the Bible as well as Disciple Bible Study. I promise that if you do the readings and you attend the classes, you will see an impact on your life by the time we finish the class. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to meet on Thursday nights by Zoom. So you can stay at your house. You, you don't have to come out. You don't have to drive in the dark or drive in the cold or leave your family back home. We'll meet at 7 o'clock every Thursday with some changes when we approach Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter You'll be asked to read several chapters of the Bible each week, or you can listen to them on an audio version. There is a lot of reading, I'm not going to lie, especially at the beginning. About three chapters a night on average. It'll take some discipline, for sure. In fact, what is the root of the word discipline? None other than the word disciple. Together, we can do it. And I promise you'll be glad you did. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, I invite you to email Donna Pinkney at Donna at rightsvilleumc.org. I promise, promise you'll be glad that you are part of this class. I look forward to seeing you. Thanks for taking a minute to listen to the video. Have a great night.